China's Chang'e 6 probe brought back samples collected from the moon's far side recently, marking an unprecedented feat in human lunar exploration history. Every July 20th marks International Moon Day. Let's take a quick look at the history of China's lunar exploration project. In 2004, China's lunar exploration program was officially named the Chang'e program after the revered moon goddess in Chinese mythology. It involved a three-step plan, orbiting, landing, and sample return. The first step was to develop China's lunar satellite and launch it into the moon's orbit. In 2007, China launched its first lunar probe, Chang'e 1, providing a comprehensive map of the moon's surface. In less than three years, Chang'e 2 entered a lunar orbit nearly 100 kilometers from the moon. It provided a much clearer view of the lunar surface, capturing an image at an unprecedented resolution of 7 meters. In 2013, Chang'e 3 achieved a successful soft landing on the moon. China's first lunar rover, U-2, or Jade Rabbit, left its mark on the lunar surface as well. For the subsequent lunar landing mission, China set its sights on an even more ambitious destination, the far side of the moon. Following the successful launch of China's relay satellite, Chuqiao, to facilitate communications, the Chang'e 4 probe embarked on its journey. On January 3, 2019, Chang'e 4 made humanity's first soft landing on the far side of the moon. It carried the U-22 rover to start its exploration of the uncharted territory. In 2020, the Chang'e 5 lunar probe successfully retrieved about 1,731 grams of invaluable lunar samples, completing the world's first moon sample mission in over four decades. Four years later, a momentous event unfolded as the Chang'e 6 returner, carrying the world's first ever samples from the far side of the moon. The country will continue its journey of lunar exploration with the Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions and unveil more mysteries of the moon.